my Doom Tower hard series where I tried to beat all the Doom Tower bosses from floor 10 up to the highest floors for the first time in rotation 1 almost come to an end yesterday when I was faced with the Scarab King, Bogot. I couldn't beat this boss just for some reason. Failed run after failed run and finally the video was not able to be posted yesterday because I failed to beat the boss. And I don't want to just post fails. I'd rather post the fails with the success. But I couldn't get any success out of all those retries that I did with the boss. So I kind of retraced my step, went back to the drawing board. And we said when we are faced with these difficult bosses at higher levels, we will need to rebuild our champions. We will need to increase our stats. We will need to, of course, check out the boss stats first. That's what we need to do first. So I went over to her head's website and I found out Bogot for floor 50 has a speed of 200 speed i was running my allure at 260 speed i was like what is going on why is she not you know why is she making the boss take a turn or he's not taking a turn but the boss somehow cuts in and then i then i remembered something else i'll show you resistance we are not building a resistance teams if you don't know there are three ways to beat bogot a high resistance team whereby he will take all his turns you will get no provokes or nothing on you high resistance team you can do one two three champions as long as they can survive the best champion in that slot is uh, what's his name verges so that's another strategy that people use a solo champion you can use a solo champion to beat bogot who will place shield on himself as he hits bogot so verges is another strategy that i considered and then the third strategy is high Tometer decrease team. Everybody in the team literally has a tometer decrease except one or two. So that's the team I wanted to build. I had my veggies already in the account built for um, Boomer, right? With the life set and whatever. Regeneration. I didn't want to regear my veggies just for this boss. I wanted a lord to be the person. I wanted this my team that was working in normal to work in hard. Because remember, when we get to the higher difficulty of these bosses, we might still need to regear this champion, but like a lot of people recommended, having Vegis, one champion built for um, Scarab King is better than having four or five champions built for Scarab King. So I wanted to build a five champion that can solo it, I mean that can um, automatically auto it and get it done. So here's where the problem lied. I had my, what's his face? Lodric Falcon Heart at a lower speed than Alor. So the number one rule if you're going to bring this type of team here is your shield champion must have the highest speed in your team. So I was using this other team just like that in other stages. There was no problem. But when I came to 50, I quickly realized that once the boss takes a turn or once you hit him without a shield it's over they run it's over there is nothing you can do because i don't have resist on my champion so they do get provoked especially my shield champion so i couldn't build all resist team i went with all tomita team i even went as far as building or leveling up an extra what's her name now i thought amiga was a problem i wanted to put in an extra allure that was at level 50 because if you bring in two Alors, remember Alors is negative affinity to this boss. So sometimes she will get three weak hits. And that's where Amiga comes in. But if you have two Alors, there's no way both of them will get weak hits at the same time, right? Right? <laughs> Depends on your RNG. I also considered if my... Um, what is his name now? Ion Brago, who has the... This set that you need to beat this boss. He is the one that is breaking the boss shield. If I should take all this set and put it on Cold Heart because he was doing it slowly, you know, it takes one turn, it takes one turn. Why Cold Heart can just break that shield in one or two hits? So I thought of moving all this, um, I forgot, destroy set to Cold Heart. But I was like, hold on. My problem is not damage. My problem is turn meter decrease. My problem is the speed between my um, champions. Something is going out of sync. So shout out to... Um, soda gaming he did an extensive video about bogot at a higher level but it can also apply to a lower level so i did learn a lot from his video where i found out my problem that i was facing in this team so let's do the run i'll show you the full stats of all these champions when the run is complete but 
let's just get right into it so you see how it works now in 50. i'll cut through the waves and head straight to the boss be right back all right we are at the boss with all our skills and abilities intact of course if you do not have a shield set on one of your champions you must make sure your shield champion is ready to go with his shield before anything happens so this is where it's important that he is also the fastest champion in your team because he will take the first turn your shield champion i mean so i'll just by default go ahead and place the shield even if i don't need it in this turn and amiga goes with the a1 you can see how close the boss was to taking a turn so since the boss is about 200 speed most of my champions you see about 198 um 205 216 and so on so that's the range you should always aim for so you have the turn meter down don't go 150 170 and expect this boss not to take a turn so um, i'll do my a1 because decrease defense is not out there now decrease speed is what will make this boss turn meter not feel so fast so i'm waiting for my stagnite to place his decrease speed on his a1 got it so once this is there now Alok can take her weak hit. Amiga can take his weak hit. My Amiga has this little, um, what do you call it? Slow, low accuracy. Sometimes he gets resisted. So I didn't want to regear all these champions. The main one I had to regear is Alok. And I'll show you what I did to her build to make her work for this boss right now. So I'm not putting it on auto yet. I'm just making sure everything, decreased defense is on the boss. Now I can put it on auto. And hopefully nothing goes wrong. So if everything is going right, I guess I'll just fast forward to the end of the run so you see the final time. There, it happened. It happened. My my Allah got weak hits like three times in a row. And then now I'm hoping my this guy doesn't get provoked. He didn't get provoked, we are back in the game. So as long as he can place the shield back on, we are back in the game. So once Allah gets her weak hits and Amiga doesn't do his job to help Allah you're basically doomed yes we are back in the game again with the shield so i kind of used glyphs on my logic falcon had to make sure even if the boss takes a turn he should not get provoked because once your logic gets provoked he cannot place the shield amiga is still not having a shield why is he taking a turn without a shield come on i'm pushing my lock right now hitting this boss without a shield I guess the slow speed is affecting most of them now. Yes, shield again. I don't want to fight this boss again. I, I don't want to do this. I've already taken yesterday to prepare this whole team. And I know they were successful yesterday. I'll show you the screenshot where I took the um, final reward on the screen right now. But hey, I know we could do it. Why? What is still happening? <laughs> but anyways that's my team my guy is not getting provoked we are still hitting the boss without a shield that is why this is happening but it's not a perfect run because of weak hits from a law if your law doesn't get any weak hits maybe bring in two amigas instead of an law i don't know if two amigas can successfully take down the turn meter 100 percent of the time but the problem with this my team is a negative affinity a law that's all there is so if you're getting this happening to you failing the run try it again there's other runs you might do she will not get one weak hit and that will be a successful run so that's my team that i used to beat it and let me show you their um, build so you know the exact speed that they are running on i'll show you right here on rsl helper so you have everything in one screen 
here is the masteries for this champion, Ion Brago, and the gear I'm using on him. Take a screenshot or pause and watch it. And now the fastest champion in the team, his speed is a total of 230 because the boss is around 200, right? So I went 230 and um, the next fastest champion, I think, will be my Allah. Now, here's what I did with my Allah to make her be able to be slower than my Iron, my um, Lord Falcon Heart. I had to take away her speed boots. If you check her boots right now, she's rocking a defense percentage boots. And it's not even a speed set because I removed 12 speed and I removed 45 speed. That's how fast she was for my previous... I use her in Fire Night 25, right? So... I had to take, make that change. This simple change I made made my Allah slower than my Lodric. So I didn't have to regear the entire team. This was the only change I made from my previous team because these champions already are used in other parts of the game. So I didn't want to regear everybody or I didn't want to build a Vegas just for this purpose. So that was the little troubleshooting I did from my research yesterday and I was able to beat this boss right now. When we do face this boss again, I do not think I can up my speed, up my resist, up my crit damage, up everything to beat this boss. I think when we face this boss again at a higher level, I will need to build a Vegas and solo it. So watch out for that video coming up when we meet the um, Bogrot, the Scarab King again. Make sure you like and subscribe to this um, range of videos that I'm doing on this series about Doom Tower Hard. Even if you're not yet beating Doom Tower Hard, just for entertainment purposes, just like the video i guess and if you have any questions about your teams that you can use for this boss or alternate champions that you need suggestions about join in discord post your screenshot and let's talk about bogot the scarab king i'll see you guys in the next video later guys